Hi, good evening, everyone. In today's class, we are going to go ahead and take some of the very, very important numericals from Phillips curve and from your Okun's law. These numericals can definitely, definitely come in your exam and therefore it is very important that you go through these numericals. I will take some of the uh, easy numericals and then I'm going to take some of the very difficult numericals also. Okay, better. Look into the first question. It says, assume that the Phillips curve is given by pi t minus pi t minus 1 is equal to m plus z minus alpha ut. Given this information, the natural rate of unemployment is. So we know that the natural rate of unemployment is the unemployment where there is no change in the inflation. Now, usually we define the natural rate of unemployment like this beta. So, how do we define the natural rate of unemployment? Ko? It is defined, so u is equal to un when pi is equal to actual value of your inflation is equal to your expected inflation. Okay, beta, how do we define karte that unemployment rate is at its natural level? Unemployment rate is at its natural level when the actual inflation and expected inflation are equal to each other. When actual inflation is equal to expected inflation. A better thoda so or is me samaj ne ki koshish karte hai. Usually, when we talk about agar koi bhi information nahi di yogi, assuming adaptive expectation, we assume that the expected infl inflation is simply last year's inflation. Matlab, mein kitna expect karungi is saal ki inflation ko? How much will I expect this year's inflation to be? I will expect this year's inflation to be equal to last year's inflation. Main usko pichle saal ke barabar expect karungi. So when, so when I say that pi t should be equal to pi e t, if no information is given in exam, agar exam mein koi bhi information nahi di yogi, you will assume that pi e t will be equal to pi t minus 1. The expected inflation will be equal to last year's inflation. But jab mein in dono cheezo ko club karti hoon, when I will club this and this together, when we will club these two things together, hume kya mil jayega? We will get pi t is equal to pi e t is equal to the inflation last year. So what I will go ahead and I will get is that inflation this year should be in equal to the inflation last year. A better we will go back to the question. So e question me dekho zara. Now here what I can go ahead and I can do is so agar this year or last year ki inflation equal hai if both of them are equal to each other. So pi t minus pi t minus 1 will be 0. Haan beta. So I will get 0 is equal to m plus z minus alpha ut. I will get 0 is equal to m plus z minus alpha ut. So from here beta, if I just take this onto the other side, I will get alpha ut is equal to m plus z. Or better, ut ko bhi mein u n se replaced kar sakti hoon because we have considered in the background that pi t is equal to pi t minus 1. So we have considered ut should be equal to u n. So instead of ut, ut ki jaga par hum u n nik sakte hai, we can write u n. So better, here I will have u n. If I have u n here, to what will be the value of u n? u n will be m plus z by alpha. Kya value ajayi beta un ki? Un will be m plus z by alpha. So, we can say that the natural rate of unemployment, cho hamara natural rate of unemployment hoga beta, that will be m plus z by alpha. That is going to be m plus z by alpha. That is the answer to this question.
So answer option number B. Am I clear with this? Everyone is clear with this? Hmm? Okay, beta. Now I'm going to go ahead and take you to the next question. So I will take this at the end. This is a little difficult question. First, I will start with the easy ones. Okay, beta. Let's take this question. Huh? This is an easy one. It says, suppose Phillips curve is given by pi t minus pi t minus 1 is equal to 0 0.25 minus 5 ut. Okay. So let's just write this equation down. What is the Phillips curve given by? Pi t minus pi t minus 1 is equal to 0 0.25 minus 5 ut. This is Phillips curve ka equation. Diya hua, beta. It says if unemployment rate is 0 0.04. So it is given that the unemployment rate is 0 0.04. So what can I go ahead and do? Instead of this unemployment rate, is unemployment rate ki jaga par, I can just plug this value of unemployment. May is value ko plug in kar sakti beta. So instead of this unemployment rate, I can just plug this value of unemployment and I will get pi t minus pi t minus 1 is equal to 0 0.25 minus 5 into 0 0.0 into 0 0.04. So, what will you get? 0 0.25 minus 0 0.20. So, I will go ahead and get the answer as 0 0.05. I will get the answer as 0 0.05. So, beta, just have a look. Here, we have to look at this. This is change in inflation. And I am saying that my change in inflation is positive. Look, my change in inflation is positive. Look, my change in inflation is positive. I am getting a positive value. Na? So, it is saying that the change in inflation is positive. That means that my inflation is increasing over time. My inflation is increasing. Because the change in inflation is positive. So, my inflation is increasing over time. Right, beta? So, what will happen? It will rise. And by what amount? Kya amount nikal ke hamara? 0 0.05. So, the correct answer to this question should be A. It will increase. And by what amount will it increase? It will increase by 0 0.05. Am I clear with this? Everyone, everyone is with me on this question. We are done with it. Okay, beta. Now, let me go ahead and take another question for the day. So, let's read this out, beta. It says, suppose that Phillips curve equation is given by this. Kya equation do we beta? What is the equation given to you? You are given pi t minus pi t minus 1 is equal to 0 0.3 minus 5 ut. Given this information, the natural rate of unemployment is. So, beta, how have we defined the natural rate? Kaise define kiya humne natural rate of unemployment ko? The natural rate of unemployment is defined wherever your inflation is equal to expected inflation. So, your actual inflation and your expected inflation should be equal to each other. So, beta, natural rate, we can write, natural rate can be defined where actual inflation and expected inflation are equal to each other. Ha, beta. Now, beta, I just told you that jab expected inflation nahi di hogi, when expected inflation will not be given, you can assume that your expected inflation is nothing but the last year's inflation. Is saal ki inflation last saal ki inflation ke barabar hogi. You can assume that expected inflation will be equal to last year's inflation. So, beta, yaha se humme kya jayega? That this year's inflation equal to expected inflation equal to last year's inflation. Jo is saal ki inflation hogi or jo last saal ki inflation hogi, they will be equal to each other. So, beta, the difference between the two will be zero. 
Hmm? So when this happens, we know that ut will be equal to un. So beta, what can I do? Ye cancel out ho jayega. And ut will be replaced with un. And ut will be replaced with un. So but now I can take this on the other side. So 5 un is equal to 0 0.3. So un will be 0 0.3 divided by 5. Un kya ho jayega beta? 0 0.3 divided by 5. So 3 by 10 into 1 by 5. So 0 0.06. So your UN ka jo value jaga beta, that will come down as 0 0.06. Am I clear, bacho? Is that making some sense to you? So the answer to this question should be 0 0.06. The natural rate of unemployment will be 0 0.06. I hope this is making some sense to you. These questions are very, very important. Usually in exam, you will see a question on 